So, this ball joint shot on the bottom. So we'll do both ball joints. This rotor, so we can zoom in here, has spots on it. You can see the backing plate's kind of munched from probably dropping on the ground at one point. Is the other one off yet? And then this is the wheel is not unbolted from the hub. That's Uh, catch the oil and whatnot. I used to. I gotta shut the camera off. Yeah, that'd probably work. Oh, oh sure, just wreck my garage, why don't you? Why not? <laughs> the supervisor is wrecking the garage. <laughs> so, yeah, we got the rears working, the fronts, eh, not so good, but. We'll play with it. I need to do shocks too on this thing. What the hell do you need shocks for? Yeah, just take them off. Well, we were just talking earlier. Yeah, we're gonna be a little bit bouncy. Yeah, yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna airbag it. Oh, yeah. okay. put, put the frame on the ground. That, there you go. Get all, then I won't, I won't need a parking brake anymore. That'll Get be a lot of issues with your and everything. Brakes too. <laughs> Airbags? No, the shocks. So if you're oh, to the that's true. That's true. Yeah. That might be why, because the back end comes up a lot. Right. So you might be lifting all the weight off the rear, and that's why the rear's locking up so easy. That could be. So. So. Yeah, we'll go do some nice Monroe Sensor tracks. Oh, I wouldn't mind know. putting ranchos on it, but those are expensive. It just adds to the fun. That's true. Dwee, 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 dwee. <laughs> you can pretend you have hydraulics. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Maybe a box or something nice to see. Hey, stuff boy, jeez. Give me this. Give me that. Let me run inside. I got some boxes. So, oh, um, you don't hear the music. There's no music playing in the back of my video. YouTube does not hear that. They don't need to tell me that there's music in the back of my video and I'm not zooming into my ugly mug. So, we took a lunch break. We ran up to a couple of parts stores and... Took a lunch break? Well, back to work already? Yeah. It was 30 minutes. Transport time doesn't count. Uh, yeah, they don't carry spindles in the stores, so... I'll probably go to the junkyard on Monday. Go find the blazer that I already scavenged parts off of. and I was going to be sacrificing a lot of stuff for this old truck. But uh, yeah, this one is just... Just munched on the bearing surface and the ceiling surface. and The uh, bottom of the backing plate there was all sorts of munched. So I don't know, maybe the wheel came off. They dropped this thing on the ground, it did some damage, who knows. Something happened there, so. But, uh, yeah, we'll be shopping for that. In the meantime, my mechanic here, after he's done stuff in his face, we're going to leave this side as it sits for now, and then we're going to try to at least button one side up. So, I've got the wheel off all ready to go. I'm going to want to try to blast a little bit of paint on those... Uh, hubs too just to clean them up a little bit but I can also do that later so mm -hmm. shut down some subway here and uh, back to work mm. there we go there right, do it again that's factory right yeah it's, okay it's good. They, I mean they say you're supposed to run them down and then back off the nut just a hair that's yeah. that's pretty good. Back it off about half an inch or so. Right, okay. Not half a turn, half an inch. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we got us a new set of pads. We got us two new rotors. Their brake clean was on sale, so I bought four cans of that. Two for six. So that's four for twelve. Uh need some more wheel studs because I don't know if we're gonna be able to reuse these, so we just ordered up twelve wheel studs because this piece comes off of the rotor. We're going to bust those apart and I'm probably going to spray the bits because that's the part that hangs out the front. And got two new rotors. I if I said that already. They're sitting right there in the box. However, they didn't have any wheel studs. He thought he had four in stock, but they didn't. So I had to order all 12 of them. So she's pretty much going to wind up sitting like this for the week or until my mechanic comes by to help me put this thing back together. Huh. I've got to go to the junkyard on Monday, get a spindle, 
I might just grab them both if they're in good shape just to have because that shouldn't be too much from the junkyard. And I'm going to try to snag the right side backing plate. And I don't think anything else I really need right at the front. I may, I may think about the rad support. We'll see how much time I got, what time I get up, all that good stuff. So, probably going to start busting out some races. And then maybe we can even get the new ones tapped into the new rotors. Because they do go into the rotor, right? Or one of them does? No, they go into the spindle. Oh, into the spindle, or, so, the, or the hub. The hub piece. Hubba hubba. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where we're at. We're running out of daylight, so we'll probably shut the camera down. And uh, maybe we'll just pick this up again when we start doing the reassembly. All right, little uh, supplemental here. So uh, we've been hammering bearings and whatnot in there. Is your race set in that one, or can you pop that out real quick? See how nice and smooth that is? Yeah, I'm going to need another one of these because this one, she ain't so smooth. That's uh... You could get a bearing in there alright. Yeah. Pretty much might as well not put a seal on. <laughs> you can see the top edge is all wore down too. So yeah, see, you got a little chooched. So, it's on the list. I'm going to see if I can snag two of those and two spindles and... And maybe a rad support, just because I can. It's only money, right? So, putting, pressing on with building this one up. And uh, probably order up a set of ball joints here too. So the one load on this one was shot, so may as well just do them all. And we got that bearing press over at the brother's place, so we'll probably be pulling all this stuff back apart. But. Tapa, tapa, tapa. Beauty, eh? Okay. Yep, flatbed trucks make awesome work benches. Guy going on over there. I like it when this guy looks like that. that. And this video has been fueled by Rainier, a beer of choice for rednecks in the Northwest for 73 years. All right, now that I pressed in the old and the new race, I gotta get the old back. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to end the video. Yeah, camera off. That's right, because it may get a little dirty here, a little, <laughs> little nasty with the language. Alrighty, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.